In part two and three of episode 14, we learnt how the welding crew got the shell plate to conform to the frames and stringers and bulkheads. The plates are bent to almost perfection by the English wheel bender, but they still require some manhandling to get them attached. If you want more of the boat build, then consider becoming a patron or PayPaler. There are eight exclusive videos in the Patreon library, with two being released last week and another two being released this week. The number will soon be on par with the published videos on YouTube. Without you guys and your support, I'd literally be stuffed. We saw the use of brackets, wedges, Clamps, trucky die downs, chain hoist, even the use of the common car jack to massage the shell plate into place. Check out how the light of the gap disappears. No more gap now. We also saw how things sometimes don't go as planned. Nothing but quality people. Indeed, girls, indeed. But the crew can tackle any problem and look how they tailor make it to fit. Bloody beautiful people, bloody beautiful. We also saw the use of the EPDA to determine how close the shell conformed with the brackets and frames. Hang on a minute, what was that? That's right people, an EPDA. Look it up. In fact, if I had a picture frame large enough, I would frame this here boat because it is a bloody work of art. I'm good, thank you. Check out the curve on this. And we haven't even started. And when I say we, I mean we, people.
don't hurt the helm too much, do you? Just kidding. You have to man handle this aluminium in. Especially with compound curves. But by and large, everything's quite loosely. I just need to wedge it against the keel so they can go there or tack it. That's the tricky part. Because no matter how much bending you can do, it's never going to be exactly matching. It'll get close, but I still have to manhandle it. Here we go. Have a look at the other side. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Now they have to tuck that in. Over here. Look how smooth it is. It's like so smooth, people. I don't know how they do it. Well, I do know how to do it. I keep on saying that. I watch them on the press. But still, this is pretty amazing. And I missed this on Saturday. So that's where they put the car jack under. They weld this plate on and they push it up. We've seen it on the, um, the bow section. Well, that's beautiful. Look how it looks so smooth. So that's one, two, three, four, four and a half metre long sheet. Unbelievable. How do they do it? Well, I know how they do it. I keep on saying that, people. Well, shut up. Now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to ring that bell over here. I feel like a bit of a pervert, people. It's so smooth. So beautiful. My baby. Sorry. He's touching my baby too. I'm starting to get a bit jealous. Although he's doing <laughs> he's doing good work. I'm just getting my cheapies. Oh yeah, it's just beautiful. It's just so smooth. Sorry. I, I know I keep on going on, but this is such a good job. And I can't believe how well they're gonna stitch it up here. Jesus, they're taking it off. I'm missing it. This is a major action. Okay, so it looks like they're trimming it. So even when I was looking at it, it looked like it was perfect. Obviously, there's too much slack on the top. Remember the green line? There's that 50 mil. So some material is always going to get removed. Second boat's coming along nicely. Really good. 
We're really getting stuck into it. I hope you can hear me. It's bloody noisy. Good. I can't believe how you can get it that accurate. That's like, that's down to like one or two BD people. That is pretty accurate. It looked pretty good from where I was looking, but it looks like they're going to trim it just a little bit more. And finally, after six or seven adjustments, getting finer and finer, we have the shell plate ready to go on. If you'd like to be a part of the project or crew, then come and join up as a patron. Nearly all the rewards are trying to get you onto the boat, either for a day sail, a weekender, a week or two holiday, or for the ultimate experience to join us on one of the legs of the Elcano Challenge. There are wonderful places all around this beautiful world that you could come and visit me and the crew to kick back and see what it's really like.